Hey you guys, it's me Morgan and today I'm going to be installing and styling some clip-ins from Her Given Hair. So if you're interested in see how I seeing how <laughs> and seeing how I do this, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I have some clip-ins from Her Given Hair right here. And I'm super excited because I really never worked with clip-ins or natural hair clip-ins. So this is what um, one of the bundles looks like. And I got two, I got a 14 and a 16 inch. So this is the 14 inch. I'm gonna try to focus this so you guys can see it. So yeah, this is the 14 inch and I got the hair textured curly. Yeah, I got curly. So as you can see, it comes like wrapped in everything. But I did co-wash this. I wanted to make sure it's nice and clean before I put it in my hair. And I wanted to get rid of that uniform curl so it did have like a slight uniform curl to it. And um, yeah, so this is the 14 inch. And then I did open the 16 inch and it looks like this. So this is like what it looks like when it's out of the bundle. It looks like wefted hair except it has the clips in it so y'all can see there are clips this one has four i believe there are eight different sizes as far as width that you can select from once you get your bundle um so for today's tutorial or how i do this style uh, i'm going to be using the 14 at the bottom and the 16 at the top because the top is going to be a bun and uh, the 14 is going to be down so hopefully this comes out super cute but um i did like attempt it already so it's really easy to do and uh, yeah we're gonna get started okay so first i'm gonna start by cutting these off i'm gonna put my 16s to the side because i don't want them to get confused so i'm just gonna go ahead and break these babies off so take them out it still is a tad bit damp because I did wash it and I let it air dry um, so we have one right here and this one has one two three four this one has five combs and then the next one has four combs so that's two so far and then we have another one with four combs then we have three combs right here. And then we have three and three. So you get three pairs of wefts with three combs in them. And then you get two pair with four combs in them and one pair with five. So that's six all together. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in my Okay, so I'm going to take this scarf off my head. Looking like a little cray cray. So, um, my hair has been taken out from a, from plaits. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I want a high bun. So, I'm going to part my hair from ear to ear. So... Take my comb and kind of like comb it forward. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna take the back and put it in a ponytail for right now and then come back to it. I'm just gonna do the front real quick. So wear it like this. So with the front, I am going to get my edge control and just put it around the edges so I can slick, slick it down. Um, since my hair was in these braids before, since they were in these braids before, um, my hair is pretty much manageable. So once I braid my hair and it's in those braids and it has moisturizer in it, it comes out pretty manageable and like slick I guess so I just put a little bit of edge control on and then brush it up into a high ponytail yeah. just gonna twist 
twist it. Wrap it around. Take my other band and wrap that one around too. So I have a little tiny like little ninja bun thing going on. Okay, okay. so for the back, let me brush it down a little bit. I'll get back to that later. But for the back, um, I don't know how to braid, flat twist, any of that. So what I'm going to do is, so there's two different ways you can do this. You can literally like part your hair and then put the clips in and then spray it so it can match your hair texture or you can just take it and braid it and clip them in inside the braid. So what I'm going to do is part it in half and since my hair is already um, like tan. Oh my gosh you guys look at this piece of hair right here. When I had uh, my birthday hairstyle in I accidentally cut when I was taking the sewing out I accidentally cut my hair so I have like this random short piece right there but it will grow back eventually but yeah so um <laughs> I'm just gonna clip this side up for now I'm gonna take this side and I kind of know how to corn roll backwards so that's what we're gonna do if you don't know how to braid you can plait it if you want so I'm just gonna take it and corner row each of the sides into like pigtails basically okay so hopefully this is in focus so I'm just gonna put my hair and tie it and then not really take it and twist it like this. And then securing it. Okay, so now we can start adding the clip-ins in. So I'm going to start with the ones with threes. That's a four, just kidding. Where are you three? Okay, so the ones with threes, I'm just going to start. And I'm going to unclip it. And I'm just going to start from the bottom bottom and put it in. And this is probably the hardest part to put it in just because that braid is there. But if you know how to like cornrow, flat, twist better then it'll be easier but yeah so I just put it in there and I'm gonna get my other three and put them in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep stacking them on top of each other clip-ins in the back and I did take the one at the bottom out just because it was like looking a little funky back there okay so now that we have done that this is like amazing because you can't even tell like where the clip-ins start basically so uh, for the top I'm going to take I'm going to start with my sets of three clip-ins and you're just going to clip it in around the bun as close as you can so depending on how big you want your bun that is how many clip-ins you would use um i'm gonna use like three of them so you have to make sure they're extra extra close though so i'm going to use another three one <laughs> All 
right so I got those in so what I'm gonna do is take my comb and kind of like comb it out just a little bit to make it look a little fluffy and fuller so I can't fit any more clippings up there without it like going off my head so I'm just gonna take my hair and uh oh make sure your clippings are securely clipped down so I'm just gonna take it and like wrap it around it does not have to be perfect literally wrapped it around once and put it in you want to make sure this weft here is covered okay and so in the back you just want to take it and kind of like pull it just to make it more fluffy and full and not as uniform looking so that's what I'm doing now Alright, so I'm all done and that is how I install and style my clip-ins. Um, it's super, super easy to do clearly. Um, just put your hair up in the front and then you can plait the back. Um, I love this hair texture because it actually matches mine. Um, even though I didn't leave any of my hair out. It's just a very good protective style if you don't want to have to deal with sew-ins or wigs or anything because all you did was put your hair up and braid it backwards so uh, um, I hope you guys really like this hairstyle please let me know what you guys think about this style and I love this style because you can't even tell like where the clip-ins are or anything so it's very very versatile I will be having a review on what I think about the clip-ins and how I care for them because when I got the clip-ins they sent me some other goodies that are great so I'll be discussing that in the next video so yeah um, thank you guys for watching I'll leave all the info below and I'll see you next time bye bye